Hi, I'm Dr. Vaibhav, hailing from Bangalore. I'm a consultant pulmonologist. I uh, specialize in treating a a various respiratory conditions like bronchial asthma, COPD, and also infectious lung conditions like pneumonia, COVID infections, and also tuberculosis. So today we'll be talking about what bronchial asthma is. I'll try to explain briefly what the condition is, what is the burden of the condition, and how you could get yourself diagnosed and treated for the same. So today I'm here to talk about uh, bronchial asthma or what we commonly call as asthma. So before we go into the details of asthma, I would like to just give you a brief uh, statistics about the same. The global burden of asthma is around 300 million. So out of which uh, uh, more than the majority of them said to be pediatric age groups. And and so there is a female predilection for the disease and also a genetic predisposition. In our country, that is India, around 30 million people are suffering from this condition. Most of them are said to be in the pediatric age group. And out of this, around 40% of the population have mortality rates. So the common reasons for the mortality being high in our country includes the poor knowledge about the condition, poor medication and also non-compliance for the medication. Asthma is basically an inflammatory condition involving the airways. So there is inflammation within the airways and also some mucus production which causes blockage of the airways leading to the symptoms of asthma. So the symptoms of asthma can present ranging between breathlessness to cough and also wheezing. Sometimes it may be associated with upper respiratory symptoms like nasal blockage, throat irritation and also a running nose. Triggering factors of asthma can range from your common household dust to air pollution to pollens to any of the particular chemicals which are present in the household items. So when uh, anybody presents with uh, the symptoms which I previously mentioned, it is uh, really essential to get yourself checked for asthma. So the diagnosis of asthma can involve your chest x-rays, your basic blood count that is your complete blood count and also a particular test called the pulmonary function test. So the pulmonary function test is to check the capacity of your airways. So the mechanism which I previously mentioned about what asthma could be that is your airway blockage. So what amount of obstruction is noted can be evaluated through the pulmonary function test. Home remedies will include avoid cold products that is may be even the intake of cold or being directly exposed to cold air that is under the fan or sitting under the AC. So avoid exposure to common household dust. So these are the basic precautions you can take once you are diagnosed with this condition. The frequency of inhaler use in asthma depends on the severity of the disease. So before you use the inhalers, please do consult your doctor and undergo the required evaluation and follow the advice given by your doctors. So the myth about childhood asthma going away with age is uh, totally not true because asthma first of all can present at any age group, not just childhood. So even if the asthma was present at childhood and then the patient did not have any symptoms till adulthood, it can resurface in adulthood because of of various triggering factors. People with asthma can definitely exercise, that is definitely a myth. So with the right medication and the right precautions, people with asthma can definitely lead a normal life with exercise also. Uh, Medications of asthma can be given for a long time depending on the severity of the disease. It is not true that the medications will become ineffective over a period of time. So the medication dosage can vary with the given point of time. So again, please consult your doctor for the same with regular checkups and evaluation. As mentioned previously, according to the statistics, you must have known the mortality rate of asthma. So definitely it is a myth that asthma cannot be fatal if the medication not taken at the right time it, or negligence can lead to mortality in case of asthma. Asthma, as mentioned previously, can present with a wide variety of uh, symptoms. So it can be anywhere ranging from your wheezing to breathlessness to cough. So the symptoms may vary depending on the severity of the obstruction. So it is not essential to have a wheeze as such or a breathlessness as such in case of asthma. So even a mild cough or a prolonged uh, cough can be asthma. So please do get yourself evaluated if you have a history of the same. So please be wary of the underlying conditions around your surroundings and do get yourself diagnosed at the earliest.